One and all, a couple of little problems on the farm. One of them is my razor's flat. Look at that, proper stubble. Oh, it's blowy. Anyway, we're still in winter, aren't we, really? Flipping rain, rain, rain. Look, the floods are back out again. Can you see back down there? Look at that. So, cows are still in. We're very lucky, actually. We got, we have got enough forage. So we're going to be all right. I'm going to, they're going to be in for a couple more weeks yet. I just, um, we're right down on maize though. We're going to run out of maize within uh, probably a week, this week. Look at that. There's not much of that left. Anyway, so problem number one and number two, we'll come back to that in a minute. That's problem number two. Problem number one, look at this gate here. So, look at that. It's split all the way on all the tubing. Three of the pipes are split right through. Look at that. Look at that. These two are bent, but let me just climb over. Actually, I'm a bit scared to put the weight on it. So, we've had the ring feeder there feeding maize all winter. They've obviously pushed against that over the winter, and I thought. No, it's broken on there as well. I thought that had broken or bent first of all, and then I realized it's actually actually split really badly. Look at that. But the thing is, that gate's only a year old. Oh, it's so blowy. Look, it's an IE gate. Cat cattle yard gate. Golf guys. That is not good, is it? That should last longer than that. I think the steel is better in this gate here than there. I mean, I know this one here, this has been here 40 years and they, they could have bent that and broken that any time. But look, the steel in that is really thick and not broken. The steel in this gate, God knows what they're making this out of, must be thin as hell. I mean, I, I've never experienced a, um, sorry, let me just climb over get out of this wind in a minute. I've never experienced a gate to actually split like that before. I even even though they've got all that pressure on there, I don't expect a gate to split. Now, whether that's a bad design, weakness, I think probably the metal is just not thick enough in the, in the gate. But that's an IE gate, less than a year old. So I, I'm not particularly happy about that. I, I, I imagine if I went back to IEA, uh, is it IEA? Yeah, it is IEA. If I went back to them and said that had happened, they'd probably say, well, it's your fault for putting that ring feeder there. And I have to take some responsibility for it, but I've never had a gate go like that before. So I'm sort of like, mm, not happy about that. Right, so that'll have to either be repaired or replaced. I think we'll end up putting a new gate there again, and maybe I'll put some reinforcing down it. The trouble, the trouble with trying to weld that is that I've only got a, an arc welder, and it'll just blow holes in that because it's quite thin, but also it's, it's galvanized, it won't stick to it very well. Right, so that's problem number one. Problem number two, can you see this wet patch? Well, this is where there's a leak in the gutter. There's a joint there, okay? Look at this, this is, so this is where the maze was. And it's coming down, running down the side there on the valley, from the valley and it's running down here, okay? So, so that joint has been leaking for a while and I was last autumn, I was gonna get up there and uh, try and sort it out. I, I think the, probably the seal's gone in it, but it wasn't that bad and I ran out of time. I did some uh, other joints on the other gutters because they're concrete gutters, because uh, they're Atcos. When Atcos built them, they made them of concrete and the problem is any movement, I think the joints go. However, I'm a bit suspicious there's something else going on up there because um, that's definitely uh, a hell of a lot of water coming down all the time. So it makes me wonder whether actually it's blocked rather than the joint gone. Uh, it's a flipping long way up. Look, 30 foot or more. I'm mean, gonna fall down there. I'm not gonna, so I figured what I've got, I've got my mate Gary who's got a, um, a drone. He's popping up and he's gonna get the drone out. We're gonna fly up there, or he's gonna fly up there. 
and we'll survey that gutter and see what it's like. At least then I know what I'm dealing with without having to climb up there. Because at some point I'm going to have to climb up there anyway, but I'm, I won't do that while the cows are in. Uh, but at least if I know what I'm dealing with, if it's just something like a dead bird in the middle of the valley, then I can just yank that out. But if it's more than that, then I'd like to know where I am with it. So he's coming up with the drone. We'll see what's going on with that in a bit. In the meantime, I've got broken gate, flooded field, <laughs> wet, wet parlour, not parlour, wet, wet solid clam, and cow's still in. Cow's still in. Right, behind me is my mate Gary with the drone. Now he is actually a professional photographer and drone operator and I'm going to chat to him in a minute. We're going to look at the valley that was leaking in the shed in a minute with the drone. Well he is, anyway I'll probably crash it otherwise. But I'm going to ask him a little bit. So mate, this, I've known you for 50 something years. Far too long. Never actually interviewed you about what you do, but you are quite, not being modest, but you are a very, very good photographer. Oh, Devon Photography. You, I'll, I'll pay you for that. Yeah, <laughs> but so what's your website before anyone, before we get into the drone? Um, it's www.garyholpin.co.uk. So go and look you up and on Instagram as well and Facebook. Facebook isn't it? and for, X, yeah. for your photographs. But you also do drone work and we got it here. Yeah. So tell me what you've got here, because I knew nothing about drones. Uh, so this is called a, well, DJI, D, the company called G, DJI right. are one of the best drone manufacturers. Yeah. This is called a DJI Mini 3 Pro, Okay. basically. So how um, does this differ from, say, something someone would go and buy at Curry's or something, a cheap <laughs> thing? Um, with drones, it's definitely you get what you pay for. Right. So you can buy a, a 40 quid one from China, yeah, um, which is... and you'll probably crash it in about 10 minutes, yeah, um, if you're lucky. Um, so this has got quite a lot of safety features, right? So if it loses signal, it comes home, yeah, because um, it uses GPS satellites. Right. Um, it's also got sensors to uh -huh. avoid colliding with things, right? Um, so it's definitely worth paying the extra if you want to keep your drone and not crash it. So with this, you're filming onto an SD card, is, yep. and um. What sort of range have you got on something like that? Uh, what, flying the drone? Fly, yeah, what, and how um, far could you fly it? Or <laughs> well, how are you legally allowed to fly it? What are the rules? Those really? two things are different. So yeah. you can you can probably fly it um, a couple of miles before right. it would lose signal. Okay. Um, and then it would just come home. Yeah. But legally, you have to keep it uh, in visual range. Right. So that probably it means only a couple of hundred meters okay okay and is there a, i think i was talking to you earlier about it. there's a restriction on height isn't there um yeah so so the airspace <coughs> is managed by the ca the civil aviation mm. authority uh, and basically there's a restriction of 120 meters above the surface right um and that's because because above there obviously that's where you start to get aircraft yeah so you don't really want to hit an aircraft with your drone and um, but 120 meters is, is you know it's pretty high enough for most things so you do this professionally and you hire out your drone services so yeah. presumably you're licensed and or you have insurance and how does that work um because i do it professionally i have to have professional insurance yeah. for it um but i've also i'm also licensed by, by the caa right um, but anybody can do that it's quite mm. cheap and easy oh, to okay. do that Right. Okay, so we'll go and see what we can find in this valley of this Let's go. shed. I've got a feeling you're going to you're going to find a lot of grass, Gary, and mud. <laughs> I think All that's right? quite likely. So we'll go up. I think uh, what why you got it? What I do? I think there's one, two, three, four valleys or yep. three. I'm not sure. I'll get you to dry fly if you can fly the drone along the valleys yep. just to film that, yep. and then I can see what I've got to deal with. Right. Is that all right? Let's go. All right. Right, my dad is just setting up over there. Let me just show you. These are the these are the sheds that we're going to look at today. So we've got that valley there, that valley there, and the problem valley is that one there. So we're going to survey these two here first. He's setting up here. Going to fly up just down the valley. I'm expecting to find some sort of pigeon muck and stuff in there. That is the problem valley up there. That's the one we're going to do last, which I'm not sure what we're going to find, but not sure what the cows are make of that. So, have you got your mission statement, Gary? You know, yeah, I know what we're doing. Just fly down the valley and, and look at the gutter yeah, okay. and see what you can find. We'll do the first valley here yeah. first. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll just wait for the ball to start up. You've got to find the satellites or something, haven't you? Yeah. So, because it works on on, on um, GPS, mm. um, I have to wait until it finds enough satellites so that the drone knows where it is okay um, and then if when it's flying along there if it goes behind the shed and we lose signal the drone will know to come home right 
Oh, well, that's quite an important thing, really, isn't it? We yeah. don't want to lose that. What I don't want is your drone to be stuck up there, for, and I've got to climb up to the shed roof to get it back. That's right. I, I, I paid for um, uh, basically if I crash my drone, mm. I get a new, I get a new drone. Oh, really? Are you covered by well, insurance on that? Yeah. Yeah. It, it's um, DJI themselves. If you you can pay to have drone replacement if you crash it. Right. Right. Well, I think we're all ready. Okay. So I'm going to take off. Yeah. And then fly over to that first one. Basically. Mm. Okay. Oh, where's it gone? It's off. Now I can't really see the drone very well on this little screen on my camera. Oh, the like cows don't like it. They'll be all right with it, they. It's the buzzing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. There's a buzzard up there as well. I know, actually birds have been known to attack drones. So have they? I've got my eye on that bird. So, the cows are like, what's going on here? Okay, so you can see. Yeah. So if you go down at a fairly low level that along the, yeah. it's like, this is like Star Wars. I'm just avoiding that wire All right. basically. So if we come down. So mate, I'm going to cut in your footage now of what you're filming. So, I can already see some grass on the, your little screen. Yeah, it's good to be This is exactly what I expected. There'd be so you're going to film that now, yeah? Yeah, and I'll just fly along. Yeah. So I'll start. I'll start. I'll start the video. Okay. And then we'll just fly. We'll just fly along the. Oh wow. To the next one now. Okay, so Valley Two. I need to come back this way a bit. All right, interesting, isn't it? Cows really don't like that buzzing, do they? So we're on video now of Valley, Valley 2. Oh, no. You're going to land it on your hand? Yeah. So, so, we're, so what we plan to do is bring it down and we're going to do the other valley in a minute from the other end. So, you, so you're going to land it on your hand, really? Well, I don't really want to land it all in the cache. If you miss, Gary, it's going in there. No, no, it's fine. So, It'll land on your hand. Really? Wow. That's a bit of skill. So, I'm going to do it from behind because it's got sensors. Right. Nice. Good control there, mate. There that's years of practice, isn't it? That could have failed. <laughs> I was gonna say, that's years of getting that it wrong. That could have gone in there. Right. Nice okay. one. So is it twin, it's twin blades, and I thought it was three, but it's twin. No, no, it's twin blades. Yeah. yeah. Right, so we're gonna go and see the culprit. Let's go, let's walk through the shed. We'll yep, go and look sure. at the, the problem let's area. We're down by, by the valley now, the real problem one. Cows are looking. We can actually see the leak on the floor by the tractor, look. Can you see that? I'm not gonna walk in there. I saw it, showed it to you what I saw the other day. Look, you can see the leak there. Gaz is gonna take it off from a round bale. Good positioning of a round bale, multi-use. <laughs> Launching platform for... Yeah. Are we ready? Yeah. Right, okay. This is, what, this is gonna be really interesting, what we find up here. Oh, and it's off. 
Bu. Tanks aren't sure about this. See, the... see what you can find. Oh, that Right, okay, so it's a very tight, um, there's not much gutter to see, is there? It could be just the joint that's failed. There certainly doesn't seem to so be. So I think your three roof, between the second, hang on, let me just work out where it is. So it's literally between the second and the third roof light, the problem area. So if you, if you start at the far end, it's between the second and third roof light. Okay, hold on, I'm at this end now. Yeah, so, so, so there's the. Do I work out how many roof lights it in, is in? And then you can one, have a look. Two, two, three. So in so between three. there, so in between there, about now, if you can yeah. look down, how, I don't know how tight you can get down. There's no obvious sign of any grass then. No, there's no obvious sign of any grass. So it's probably a joint I'll, I'll fail. I'll a little bit, but I, I don't, if I... <coughs> yeah, you don't, I don't crash far, it. I'll, I'll lose signal from, the, potentially lose signal from the drone and then it'll come home. Mm. I can't really see it. Let just, no. Let's just... Well, I'll be able to look at that on a bigger screen anyway, won't yes, I? Yes, you will. Yeah, I'll, I'll just look So that indicates to me that probably there's a roof joint on rather than actual blockage. I'm just going to stop video for a second and mm. just go into um, into into photo mode. Oh yeah, because we can zoom in on the pictures, can't we? Yeah. Um. So it's between, in the middle, between third and fourth roof light. Yeah, which is kind of where we mm. are at the moment. Uh, let's just take a photo. Right, so obviously you've seen the footage by the time I've edited this video. I haven't looked at it yet, but I'm going to go back and look at these, these videos um, on the screen. So you can see uh, the bit I saw on that little screen there, I could see grass in the gutters up there, but surprisingly nothing obvious in the, um, the valley there where the main leak is. So my thoughts are then now is that... Uh, the joint has basically failed there because there's there's bitumen in the joints as well as the pressure of the joint being pushed up together um that's obviously failed i think so it, resulting in me having to get up there and sort that out which isn't a very nice job to do because uh it's quite dangerous with the asbestos sheeting and everything there ain't gonna be a video of that i can tell you that because someone will cramp it, shout out health and safety regs but i will be careful we're, we're landing the drone now it's back. Dave the drone. Has it got a name? Oh, hello. All right. Quite scary, actually, when you have that near you, isn't it? It's kind of like Big Brother watching you, isn't it? But you can see, I can see why. Well, you're probably concentrating on landing that, aren't you? I'll wait till you've landed it. Oh, you. It's like a magician. Or it's like your pet coming home, isn't it? Okay. But you see, I mean, what's really interesting, and we did a bit of video on the farmhouse earlier, didn't we, of the chimneys, because yeah. I was worried about the chimneys. Yeah. This this saves loads of time, doesn't it? Yeah. And basically... That's gives... why you're paying me so much for it. Yeah, how much am I charging for B&B? <laughs> <laughs> you, but you, you do charge out for this if someone wants to hire you, don't you? Yeah. Well, we, yeah, yeah you yeah. can discuss your rates if someone wants to contact you, I guess. <laughs> yeah, of course. And which, what area do you cover? We better remind people. Uh, uh, most, uh, probably most of Devon, um, West Dorset, Somerset, mm. that, that sort of area. Yeah. So how long have you been droning for? 
Oh, about three years. Have you? Why, does it not show? Drone, drone, drone. <laughs> <laughs> and your photography, you've been doing that for donkey's years, oh, haven't you? I've been doing that for yeah. a decade or more, yeah. Yeah, fair play to you. And you're involved, let me give you a plug, Gary, because you deserve it. You're involved with quite a few things. You do Southwest 360, is it? Uh, well, no, I, yeah, so I do the photography for um, a, a tourism website called Southwest 660. 660, 660 right. 660, which is a, right. basically a road, a road tour of the Southwest. Yeah. Um, but you've also, let, let me plug you, because I know you're quite modest about what you've done, but you've done some really good stuff, haven't you? You've done, what was the magazine um, that you've been involved with? Is it Devon Country Life? I know, what, so, um, yeah, no, so I provide photos every month to Devon Life magazine. Yeah, that's it, it's Devon Life. Yeah, and I occasionally write articles for them about, uh, you know, the beauty of Devon, basically, yeah. with, with, with my photos. So. Your photos are damn good. In fact, Gaz, yeah. email me a few pictures and I'll put them on the end of this video so okay, people can fine. see what you're capable of, all, all right? right. We'll do well done, mate. Thank you very much right. for bringing the drone out. I love it. Cheers. I'm going to have to get one. All right. <laughs>